Rishi Sunak, the Chancellor of the Exchequer, and Sajid Javid, the Health Secretary, both quit in connection with a series of scandals that have raised questions over Prime Minister Boris Johnson's judgment and honesty. Prime Minister Boris Johnson of Britain was battling for his political survival Tuesday night after he bombshell resignations of two of his top cabinet officers. The resignations appeared to be a coordinated move against the Conservative Party leader amid the latest in a long string of scandals. Rishi Sunak, the Chancellor of the Exchequer, and Sajid Javid, the Health Secretary, both quit over a fresh scandal that once again raised questions about Mr. Johnson's judgment and honesty. The latest crisis centers on a conservative lawmaker who was a minister in Mr. Johnson's government, Chris Pincher. Last week, Mr. Pincher quit his government post after a drunken night during which he is accused of having grouped two men. Later it emerged that there had been similar previous allegations against him. For days, the government insisted that Mr. Johnson had no knowledge of any prior accusations when he appointed Mr. Pincher. Then on Monday, Downing Street acknowledged that the Prime Minister had known of one accusation from Mr. Pincher's day at the Foreign Office but said there had been no formal complaint against him. It was then revealed that there had, in fact, been a formal complaint and it was reported that Mr. Johnson knew about it. On Tuesday, the former top civil servant in the Foreign Office, Sir Simon MacDonald, publicly accused the government of repeatedly distorting the truth. Mr. Johnson apologized Tuesday for appointing Mr. Pincher, saying he bitterly regrets it. Mr. Sunak's and Mr. Javi's resignations came shortly afterward, thrusting Mr. Johnson into what could be the most perilous position of his three-year tenure as Prime Minister. Just a month ago, following a series of unrelated scandals, he survived a no-confidence vote by his fellow conservative lawmakers, but whatever breathing room that gave him is a waning vast. Because Mr. Johnson survived that vote, conservative members of parliament cannot call another for a year, unless the party's rules are changed. That means that pressure to resign from within his own government including cabinet resignations like those on Tuesday, could be the only effective method of forcing him out. <laughs>